Hi everybody, it's me, Alyssa, again, sorry, it's been a while, um, it's, um, it's been kind of crazy the past, uh, couple weeks, but anyways, today I'm going to talk about thankfulness, it's going to be a pretty quick video, um, I wanted to post this last week, but I had a busy week, uh, happy post-Thanksgiving, everybody, um, I hope everybody's Thanksgiving was, uh, very blessed with plenty of food and plenty of, uh, plenty of love from both family and God. Well, anyways, um, today my lesson or my, uh, my little thing of me talking is going to be about Thanksgiving. Um, so here we go. I, I'm just pretty much reading from the last couple days from my devotional. Ne never mind the noises in the background. It's a few dogs that I'm dog sitting for. So anyways, here we go. Let thankfulness rule in your heart as you thank me for your blessings in your life. A marvelous thing happens. It is if scales fall off your eyes, enabling you to see more and more of my glorious riches. With your eyes thus open, you can help yourself to whatever you need from my treasure house. Each time you receive one of my golden gifts, let your thankfulness sing out praises to my name. Hallelujahs are the language of heaven, and they can become the language of your heart. A little of praise and thankfulness, or a life of praise and thankfulness, becomes a life filled with miracles. Instead of trying to be in control, you focus on me and what I am doing. This is the power of praise. Centering your entire being on me. This is how I created you to live, for I made you in my own image. Enjoy abundant life by overflowing with praise and thankfulness. And then the devotional today is... Uh, um, rest in the deep assurance of my unfailing love. Let body, mind, and spirit relax in my presence. Release into my care anything that is troubling you so that you can focus your full attention on me. Be awed by the vast dimension of my love for you. Wider, longer, higher, and deeper than anything you know. Rejoice that this marvelous love is yours forever. The best response to this glorious gift is a life steeped in thankfulness. Every time you thank me, you acknowledge that I am your Lord and provider. This is a proper stance for a child of God, receiving with thanksgiving. Bring me the sacrifice of gratitude and to watch and see how much I bless you. And the Bible verse I'm going to read from today is uh, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 17. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. And the final Bible verse I'm reading is uh, Psalms 107, uh, 21 to 22. Let them give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for men. Let them sacrifice thank offerings and tell of his work with songs of joy. So that's that's all I'm going to read from that today. But um, it's, it's really important to be thankful, um, you know, to God, whether you're going through hard times or easy times. I mean, there, there, there is power and thankfulness. I mean, I, I've witnessed it in myself. I, I know like, um, it's the little things in life. I mean, I'm constantly saying, thank you, Jesus. You know, I'm, I'm not the best at it, but I try, I try to be thankful for everything because I know there are people out there that have a lot less, you know, than me. You know, it's, it's easy to get caught up in life and and weigh our, you know, weigh what we have versus what other people have. But the important thing is to not focus on material, just, you know, focus on really what we have, you know, spiritually through Jesus Christ. You know, we, we've, we, we've been forgiven for all our sins. You know, that's something to be thankful for. I know the, the less I have, the more thankful, you know, I get for what I have. I've kind of been through the ringer for all those who know me, but, um, yeah, just be thankful, everybody. You know, we, we never know when our last, last moment in this life is. So, you know, it's just very important to thank God for everything because at any given moment, everything can be taken away from us. Um, I just want everybody to know that Jesus loves you and that, um, if you need anything, just message me. Um, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye.